Hello. I'm Salim Alvarez from Universidad de Monterrey, UDEM School of Business in Monterrey, Mexico. Uh, the impact of cross borders, our study hashtag Adios Starbucks, the impact of cross border political discourses emerged in 2017 when President Trump's inauguration uh, set a digital wildfire in Mexico. Strong opinions proliferated, creating ripples across national sentiments and consumer behaviors. Our interest was piqued by Mexican consumers digital counteractions to, to U.S. political stances in that moment. Today, I will share our insights into these dynamics that continue to resonate in the ever-evolving landscape of digital activism and global consumerism. Uh, meet the team, Carla, Eric, Nancy, and Mayra. We examined the ripples of hashtag Adios Starbucks through a politically neutral lens this study dissects the digital disagreement that Mexican consumers voiced against American brands, a reflection of social discomfort in response to the changing political winds in the US. Our intent was not political, but academic, charting the course of digital movements and their sway over consumer behavior. Hashtags are useful for following popular discussions digitally and are characterized by virtually grouping together similar communities, Powell 2015. Furthermore, this hashtag, Adios Starbucks, encouraged a lot of interaction and allow, allowed us to classify content, users, and derive several behaviors toward American brands during these adverse political times. A hashtag in business context means potential revenue for brands, at least since a promotional lens. Not in this case, and let's see why. The objective of our research was the online Mexican consumers' interaction with American brands aiming the hashtag Adios Starbucks style. We sought to understand this behavioral shift, scrutinize the underlying digital profiles, and quantify the blow to U.S. brands in Mexico. This exploration delves into the immediate and resonating consequences, as well as the digital echoes within brand customer engagement. Our analysis stretched from January to March of 2017. From 30,000 tweets to a focused, focused examination of 250, alongside 10 in-depth interviews with members of the online community and secondary data from Bloomberg and Social Bakers, we dissected the narratives surrounding Starbucks, Walmart, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's. We aim to understand the impact of hashtag Adios Starbucks in American brands with presence in Mexico. So the analysis of the flux in stock value in digital followers and the postures these brands adopted in response to the online movement were very important to our conclusions. Adopting a qualitative approach, we used ethnography for, for Robert Kosinets for the immersion stage. And as previously mentioned, we used diverse data sources and SPSS software for correlational analysis to compare brand engagement and stock market reactions. We delve into the core of consumer sentiment and online community interactions. The phenomenon originated on Twitter on January 5th, uh, 20th of 2017, when Saul Palacios posted a tweet declaring, I was wrong. Now only hashtag hecho en Mexico, made in Mexico, hashtag adios Starbucks, hashtag day one. The post was accompanied by an image with a strong message. <coughs> A picture of his cutting half gold Starbucks loyalty card with the caption, Compra Hecho en Mexico, or Buy Made in Mexico, as shown here. This event in Twitter coincides with the inauguration of the 45th ele elected president of the United States of America. This day, we found an international media several notes relating this movement. For example, in the online note, hashtag Adios to Starbucks, Mexican threatened the boycott, to boycott American goods. 
by Darlington and uh, Charner in CNN Money mentioned that the reason for the hashtag Adios Starbucks phenomenon arises after the signing of the executive order to build the wall. And well, the answer was obvious and expected. If you need to remember a little bit more about the events around the wall, here is the QR to basic facts. This response of President Peña Nieto was the bridge to our critical point number two. The hashtag Adios Starbucks became a viral moment following the messages between Presidents Peña Nieto and President Trump, who canceled a scheduled meeting on January 31st, just five days earlier, where relevant topics concerning the administration of both presidents would have been discussed. Critical point number three was the launching of Echo in Mexico campaign, another day of hashtag Adios Starbucks as national trending Twitter. Consequences in funds and stock exchange value were still moving in this, post, in, this, in this point. This graph represents the phenomena in a longitudinal perspective. Our three critical points are represented sorry, in number of tweets during the period of each critical point. Following the ethnography method, we selected 250 tweets from a universe of 39K. Starbucks was the brand mentioned in the hashtag, and this is the flux of the stock value during that time period. Where are our critical points? Here. And here is our pre previous graph of tweets per day within the hashtag Adios Starbucks, with a lot of coincidences in time with these shifts in stock value. Another important fact to observe here is the date of the brand's official communication made by Starbucks CEO regarding the brand's stance facing uncertain political times and the phenomena. If you are interested in reading the stance, it's here in QR code. And while Starbucks spread its position, McDonald's and other brands carry out the diverse marketing strategies in its branches around the country. These consumer comments are representative of the reaction of the online brand communities. And as you can see, they are very different in tone, credibility, and acceptance level. Okay, I'm on time. Oh, this is our qualitative analysis. We got help from Atlas TI. And we discovered that the type of poster named creators, as Liam Ber Bernoff typology mentions, generate content. But through the interviews, we go deeper in, the, in their behaviors and some of them really supported the cause, but some others posted a supportive stance using hashtag Adios Starbucks, and the next morning go to Starbucks to buy a coffee before go to work. We identified this situation as consumer cynicism. These are the themes or topics or common places, as Professor Hart Davidson taught me today. We call them behaviors or behavior intentions that emerge from the data and that were categorized from the labels and wording used in the tweets with the hashtag Adios Starbucks. And here their definitions in the context we live, we live then. An interesting finding emerged when we cross the emerging behaviors per type of poster. This information gives us some hints to thinking how to understand the different segments present in the movement, and more interestingly, and as a future research opportunity, to think in the possibility to predict some behaviors depending on the posters' profiles present in this type of digital movement, movements. So definitely the brands had an, impact, an important economic impact during these times. We saw an important effect on consumer brand engagement, and most interestingly, we derive some emerging behaviors or stances in Mexican consumer toward American brands. As we conclude, it's evident that digital movements like a hashtag Adios Starbucks can morph into seismic shifts for brands and their stock value in consumer brand engagement. Monitoring trending topics and recognizing emerging behaviors are imperative for companies and organizations to navigate the digital landscape proactively. We think brands have also a social role and they must anticipate and adapt to such digital movements, looking not just their benefit but being empathetic with their audiences and fostering positive changes, understanding and being responsible of the power they have in society. What's next for 2024? Let's see. 
And here are an example of since a more humanistic point of view of how this movement of the wall impacted in other disciplinary areas. Thank you very much.